After missing out on the last World Cup, Cameroon are back for Qatar and the indomitable Lions are flying on a bit of a high after an impressive showing and a third place finish at a home AFCON back in January. They are led by national icon and former star Rigobert Song in the dugout and he remains a darling of the nation. Always stylish and incredibly well respected within the game, the former Liverpool and West Ham defender was promoted from the under-23 setup in February after previously being an interim manager. On the pitch, Song gave absolutely no quarter and is an attitude which he is looking to instill in his players too. The coach will look to his team in Qatar to be aggressive, tenacious and without fear of any opposition. Tactically, it looks likely that Cameroon will set up in a 4-4-2 shape, although Song has experimented with a back three briefly of late. What we do know, though, is that however the shape ends up, the Indomitable Lions will execute a high-energy pressing game off the ball with a forward-thinking, direct approach when they win it back. This can be mostly seen when Cameroon have the ball at the back. Andre Onana of Inter is an excellent all-round goalkeeper, but his long passing range and accuracy is perfect for this side. They look to hit the front men early, using the height and aerial ability of Vincent Aboubacar and Eric Maxim Choupo Moting before winning second balls. In the middle, the anchor of this team is Napoli star Andre Frank Zambo Anguissa. Formerly of Fulham, he's absolutely crucial to the way that Cameroon operate with and without the ball, where his industrious work rate allows him to both win back the ball in the centre of the park, and his elite dribbling ability gives the indomitable Lions real threat in transition. Finally, flourishing again at club level, Anguissa comes into this tournament in exceptional form, and if he can dominate in the middle of the park the way that he has been doing in both Serie A and the Champions League this season, it will go a long way to improving Cameroon's chances of getting out of the group. They will still need goals though, and the man tasked with grabbing them will be skipper Vincent Aboubacar. Aboubacar was top scorer in the Africa Cup of Nations in January, notching eight goals in seven games, and the man who recently claimed that he could do what Mohamed Salah does if he was in an elite team, will want to back up that claim by delivering on the biggest stage for his nation. Aboubacar is a major threat in aerial situations, but will also look to get in behind opposition defensive lines, and his performances for his country give Cameroon a real attacking threat that opponents will find it very difficult to deal with. He was on the score sheet twice in Cameroon's qualification campaign, which was no easy task. They pipped Ivory Coast to the top spot in their group before seeing off the threat of one of Africa's top seeded nations in Algeria, a playoff game that saw incredible late drama with an injury time winner from Chupo Moting sending Cameroon through. Cameroon FA president and footballing icon Samuel Eto'o says that Cameroon can win the World Cup, but the truth remains that getting out of a very tough group would be a real success story for the Indomitable Lions. Serbia's host of attacking riches, Switzerland's performances in the last European Championships and Brazil being, well, Brazil, means that Group G looks like one of the toughest in the competition. If Cameroon could usurp the two European sides to come runners-up behind Brazil, it would be a phenomenal achievement. That group is part of the reason why Cameroon remain at 500-1 to to win the competition, but Cameroon's direct approach, aerial prowess and ferocious pressing could well ruffle a few feathers and allow them to spring a shock.